Oh, hi everyone. It's Mike speaking and welcome to Creative Suite TV's top five tips for InDesign CS4. These are the tips that are gonna turn you from an InDesign user into an InDesign power user. And if you're an InDesign power user, you can get the job done way quicker. These are my favorite tips, and I think they're gonna help you out in your everyday workflow. So I hope you enjoy them. Get to it. Okay, so let's start off this tip fest with, I think, what I would call number one, which is to do with zooming and panning. Now, I know we've done this in Photoshop recently, but this is a brand new feature in InDesign, and I think this can save you buckets of time, but let's put it into context. The first tip comes in the most useful when you're making text changes and we know that you're working on an annual report or something like that there's always hundreds of text changes to those things so we get them back we're just about to go through the design work and make changes so we zoom in here okay and we select our text we're doing some changes designer or whatever we've got to change that so that's no worries we make the change now the next change is on um, another page okay so we want to be able to zoom into exactly the same zoom. Here's what you do. Hold in the space bar, click and hold in your mouse, and you will zoom back out, okay, with this rectangle around it. So that's the zoom that we were just at. We move that. We can scroll to the new area so we can go left or right. Let the mouse go, and then that zooms us into the new area, okay? So it's space bar, click and hold, you zoom back out. Now, when you're at that zoom, you can actually use the arrow keys on your keyboard to make that zoom field bigger or smaller as well. You can even scroll between pages and then zoom in to where the next uh, page is. So that is a great tip. Zoom out, zoom back in, uh, and then of course, uh, an extra bonus tip there, control zero uh, for doing that. Next tip, that's tip number one. Tip number two is using the eyedropper or what we can sometimes call the turkey baster. There it is over there. It looks a bit like a turkey baster, doesn't it? But anyway, what that is fantastic for is for applying paragraph styles. Now, I've used a bunch of paragraph styles here. And what you can actually do, if you double click it, you can get this thing to um, pick up a number of different settings, including both character settings and paragraph settings. So if you just want to use this for bolds or italics, turn off the pa paragraph settings and you can use it to apply just character settings or vice versa, you can do that. Okay, let's pick up the whole lot though. So we'll zoom back out, press OK. We would like to proliferate this subheading around this document. Simply click on it and you'll notice that the cursor switches over now it's full the turkey baster is full so that's good and then using our shortcut we can zip out jump to the next page release we've still got the full cursor and then it's just a matter of clicking on that headline and voila it applies so we're actually combining our first two together there and that's going to save you buckets of time absolutely truckloads of time so that's maximum awesomeness okay Going back to page one, we've got a couple of little tips. Next tip is changing tools from text. So we're working away, we've got the pointer tool and we want to change to the text tool. How easy is this? Double click any text frame gives you the text tool. Okay, now you may have known that one, but I think that's a belter for tip three. Double click gives you the text tool. Here's one that you may not know. When you're in the text tool and you want to get back to the pointer tool, hit escape. Escape on your keyboard will take you back to the pointer tool and then leave you there so then you can switch tools very easily with the keyboard commands. So that's escape and double clicking for the text tool. That is a fantastic tip. Now, tip number four we're up to, working on images. So this image quite obviously has a frame around it with a whiteboard. It's also got a white background drop shadow and a few other things. 
But if I want to change the cropping of this image, I need to select the image inside that frame. Here's a tip, just double click it, switches tools up here. So I've double clicked any frame with an image in it, switches tools automatically to the direct selection tool. And then of course, I can click on the image and then I can move it around inside that frame. And then if I want to go back to the frame, double click again, and then that takes me back to the frame. That is a belter of a tip for tip number four, tip number five. We've got to move down to a, a, a blank page here. Now this may not really be a keyboard chalk. It sort of is, but it sort of isn't, but it's a really good tip. This is for placing images. I use Adobe Bridge for placing images, okay? We can select them and go straight to File, Place, in InDesign. So it's kind of a shortcut directly from Bridge. And then of course we can access other um, CS4 uh, applications like that. We're going to place in InDesign though. Okay, so let's let that go. We jump back over to InDesign and there we have our cursor, okay, with four images. You can use the keyboard to scroll through each of the images, the ones that you would like to place. Okay, so down and up arrows. Um, the other thing that we can do here, and this is the last key, this is a bonus uh, keyboard shortcut, ready to go. We just hop out of preview mode. That's, by the way, W on the keyboard. We want to draw a grid of all four images. Hold down. There's the keyboard. Control Shift or Command Shift on the Mac, and then click and drag out a grid. This is a brand new feature, and then you can use the up, and down arrow keys, like so, to then drag them out. We can have a column and boom, they will all fit in, be perfectly aligned. What a fantastic tip to finish off on. That's an extra bonus mega tip. And that's my friend, the Kookaburra. Thanks again for tuning in to Creative Suite TV. Hopefully you like those tips and there's plenty more to come in the other Creative Suite applications.